Hi, in this tutorial we will continue to learn Grasshopper. Let's learn to align. Select number sliders. Vertical align. Equalize distances. Select point components. Horizontal align. Equalize distances. Let's learn to split the canvas. Hold Alt and drag left and right. First we need to hold down Alt and then the mouse. Split the canvas horizontally by holding the Alt one more time. Drag and drop to make a single connection. When you connect the second component, the first connection will be broken. Hold Ctrl and drag to cancel connection. Hold Shift to connect multiple components. Hold Ctrl Shift to connect inputs to another component. Now let's learn to group components. Select the components you want to group. Ctrl G. Select the components you want to group. Click mouse wheel. Group. Select the components you want to group. Ctrl G. We can also create a larger group. Select all components. Ctrl G. To change the color of a group, select the group and right click. Color. Hue. Now let's learn to write in Grasshopper. You can run a component by double clicking the Grasshopper canvas. You can write any text you want by putting a tilde sign at the beginning. Or you can write the text directly after entering the name of the command. Scribble. Double click. Colors. Change size. Microsoft Sans Serif. My favorite font, Agency FB. Click OK. Click OK. You can move the text wherever you want by holding down. Let's find a component in the toolbar. Hold Ctrl Alt plus click left. Let's find the color swatch. Hold Ctrl Alt plus click left. Let's learn to copy components. Choose the color component. Ctrl C Ctrl V. Let's try another way. Hold down Alt while moving component. Let's learn to record screenshot. File. Export quick image. Viewport frame. You can adjust its location or resize it. If we created a model, it would appear on this frame. Focus frame. You can specify the frame in which you will take your image. Save. I have a problem. Can someone help me? Save. You can share your problems in the forums with this command. Let's find out what the colors of the components mean. Maths. Addition. Intersect. Solid union. Copy. Connect colors to solid unions. Copy the addition twice. Disable preview. 
Disable. File. Preferences. Palette. Disabled capsule. This color indicates that the component is disabled. Error capsule indicates that you have connected the wrong input to the component. Hidden capsule. This indicates that the component is working but not visible on the Rhino. Standard capsule. Components that run smoothly appear in this color. Warning capsule. Indicates that this component contains missing data. Finally, let's learn where to find shortcuts and how we can create our own shortcuts. File Preferences Interface Shortcuts Close Grasshopper Settings Now let's create a shortcut. For example let's set a shortcut for Solid Union. Right click on Solid Union. Component Alias. S. Commit Changes. Let's test. Yup. When you type S, the command appears in the first row. Let's reset the setting. Right click on Solid Union. Component alias. Delete the shortcut and click commit changes. Thanks for watching.